Vertex 42 templates come pre-formatted for easy printing. However, sometimes it is necessary to change the page formatting in order to properly print modified templates. I'm going to use the home inventory template to show you how to fix the page formatting. This tutorial assumes that the print area has been set correctly. For help with setting the print area, see the Vertex 42 help page and videos. The first thing we need to do is get into the print preview. There's two ways to do this. You can do it through the start button, going to print and then print preview. The other option is to go to the print dialog by hitting control P and then hitting the preview button in the bottom left hand corner. Once in the print preview you'll be able to do two things. Verify the page layout and also make changes to the page setup which will affect the page layout. You'll notice in this template that the page has already been formatted in landscape mode. You'll also notice that there are two pages to this template. In order to get to the next page to view it, simply click on the next page button here at the top or use the slider bars off to the right hand side. Now let's make some changes. Let's assume that rather than print this as a landscape, we wish to print it as a portrait. To access these options, simply go to page setup. Here you'll be able to modify it to portrait mode. Simply click on it and press OK. You'll notice that there are still two pages, that the page orientation has changed from landscape to portrait mode. We can scroll down to see the second page, and we can see that there's a significant amount of white space on this page. Now let's see if we can force it to be on one page. Again, return to page setup, and we're going to want to use some of the scaling options. You'll notice at this point that it's set to fit to one page wide with no page tall. What this does is it allows Excel to decide how many pages tall to make it, forcing it to be one page wide. Since we want to force it to be one page tall, we are going to delete the one page wide number and put a one and the one page tall. This now tells Excel to fit it to any number of pages wide, but make it one page tall. Again, click OK, and you'll notice now that the number of pages is only one, and everything's been formatted to fit on one page. There are a few other options as far as scaling goes. Again, return to page setup. We can manually adjust the scaling. Right now it's at 50%. We could force that to be 30% to make it even smaller. And now you can see that it's much, much smaller. We can also go and force it to be 100%. Because we scaled it to 100%, it can no longer fit on one page wide or one page tall. So it will now cover several pages wide and several pages tall. Since this layout will not work for us, we're going to fix it by going back to page setup and tell Excel to go ahead and fit it again to one page wide. We don't care how many pages tall it is, but we do want to go back to landscape mode. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and Excel will go ahead and correct it so that it is again landscape mode, one page wide, and in this case, two pages long. Within the print preview, there are a few other options. We have the opportunity to zoom in to see specific sections. This often helps when we want to check formatting. Within Print Preview, we can review and modify the margins. Simply click on Show Margins. At this point, the margins will be displayed. And if you notice, you can actually highlight the margins, and the cursor will change to where you can actually drag these around. Let's assume that I needed to bind this document in a three-ring binder, and I'm going to bind it on this end. I simply take the top, and I'm going to drag it down to provide some space for punching holes into the paper without punching through anything critical. 